uh, maybe the men was the right men to deal with the economic uh, crisis that had affected Zimbabwe for numerous uh, years uh, and uh, he inherited an economy that was in tatters uh, because he has been before being appointed as the finance minister, he was speaking uh, the right language on what exactly needs to be done in Zimbabwe to get the economy uh, running. But when he get to the demon-infused Zanubiev, uh, he began to change the language and what he was implementing was divorced from what he has been preaching about. Greetings and welcome on your lovely channel, the Clone Panning Movie Music TV. If you're watching us for the first time, please do remember to press the red or black subscribe button so that next time when we film live, guess what? You become the first one to watch us. So, uh, one of the professors of the University of uh, Cambridge uh, Hank has actually advised uh, Professor Mtudin uh, to vacate his position as the finance minister uh, of Zimbabwe, indicating that Mtudin um, has failed to address the economy uh, of Zimbabwe. Now, let me briefly take you uh, on what is the current status quo regarding the economy of Zimbabwe. Uh, we have got the highest inflation, not only in Zimbabwe, not only in Africa, but globally, Zimbabwe top the world as the first country uh, with the highest uh, inflation. So when we, we are now back to the period or the era of Robert Gabriel Mugabe, uh, the inflation according to Professor Henk is currently at more than 1,300 uh, percent, 1,300 uh, percent uh, being the highest. So in terms of countries with the highest inflation, uh, Zimbabwe uh, tops the charts. And this, of course, is followed by the highest unemployment rate. I'm sure we've got the highest uh, unemployment uh, rate worldwide. Uh, the economy is not performing at all. Uh, everything is actually uh, dilapidated. Uh, the country is stagnant. There is no growth that uh, is recorded in Zimbabwe. The growth that is touted, it, it can only be seen uh, by ZANU-PF, but it, that growth cannot be translated to uh, Zimbabweans equitably benefiting from the economy of Zimbabwe. So the economy of Zimbabwe, at its current state, it is in tatters and Mturi uh, Nube is the man at the helm. Uh, and the biggest question is, is it fair to accuse this man alone uh, and uh, think that he can uh, as a standalone man who, who doesn't even have a constituency within ZANU-PF? He can convince a stubborn man like Emerson Tambutsomdangapa to do the right thing, to stop corruption, uh, to, 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 to act on corrupt individuals. I think it is expecting too much to expect this coup regime of Emerson Tambutsum Nangako out of all the people to uh, decisively deal with the economic problems uh, confronting Zimbabwe that he inherited from his predecessor, uh, of whom he is part of the individuals who are part of the problem uh, because he worked with Robert Capral Mukai since 1980, we are talking of an individual who has been at, I mean, uh, in government since 1980, but he hasn't done anything meaningful uh, that can be uh, equated to something next to benefiting uh, the people of Zimbabwe. So, um, to the movie, I think Zano PF was too big uh, for him. Uh, he is wearing shoes which are too big for him. He understands what must be done. That guy uh, has uh, enough and sufficient uh, knowledge. But I, I can guarantee you, when you enter into ZANU-PF, you don't tell them what to do, but ZANU-PF gets to tell you uh, what to do. So I guess this is what um, Tudin Mube uh, got confronted uh, with. And when you enter ZANU-PF, ZANU-PF is like a demon. When it enters you, when you enter it, it enters you. And when it enters you, it is hard 
uh, for you to get out of uh, Zano PF uh, because you may become their number one uh, enemy. So Mturi Nube is just sitting there uh, doing nothing. Uh, inflation is uh, uh, skyrocketing almost on a daily basis. Uh, I think he has failed by virtue of the fact that inflation is above 1,000. Uh, 300, uh, I mean 1,300 uh, percent. Just look, look, look at the number. Uh, it, it, it simply, if, even if it, it, it goes above 50 percent, uh, I mean not even 50 percent, if it goes above 10 percent, uh, already in normal countries they will begin to fire uh, the finance uh, minister. But in Zimbabwe, Zanu PF is reluctantly not firing uh, the uh, professor Mchudi Ngube because they understand that he is not the main problem. Uh, the main problem is Zanu PF. Zanu PF is not capable of doing what is right uh, to attract the much needed investment. Uh, they are not creating a favorable environment, a favorable investment climate so that Zimbabweans can come uh, and invest in their country and other foreign uh, investors can also see Zimbabwe as an attractive uh, country to actually put their investment in. Uh, they have done nothing to do so. Uh, the, the currency is volatile. You cannot put your money uh, in, 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 in an inf inflationary environment uh, like Zimbabwe. You cannot put your money uh, in a country that does not adhere to its constitution. Uh, when you go to courts, the courts will be controlled, and there is absolutely no way uh, whereby you can uh, recover your money, particularly uh, if it is taken by those connected to the state. Uh, so, blaming um, Tudi Nube for the failure of the Zimbabwean economy, I mean, when he inherited it, uh, Zimbabwe was uh, on ground already. Uh, so this is the man who has been trying to uh, take off the economy of Zimbabwe, but he has failed uh, because the problem apparently is bigger uh, than him. Thank you very much for watching us. If you are watching us for the first time, please do remember to press the red or black subscribe button.